All right, welcome back. Uh, today's lecture is going to be about the number 666 as it occurs in the Bible. Uh, it's the number of the beast, which I'm going to show you that it means melanin is the beast and man, which means male and female. All right, so I'm going to start off by reading from Revelations chapter 3, verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of man, and his number is 666. What you may not know is 666 only occurs in the Bible three times. If you go to Ezra, chapter 2, verse 13, it's referring to a man and how many children he had. He had 666 children. 1 Kings, chapter 10, verse 14, refers to the talents of gold Solomon amassed every year. Uh... When I do a video about Santa Claus later on, we're going to talk about gifts and talents and uh, what that means and gold, uh, what that has to do with chakras. So later on in another video, we're going to talk about talents and Santa Claus. I had a whole Santa Claus story. It's about the pineal gland and uh, melanin. Um, the only so-called negative reference, reference was the above in Revelations when it referred to the number 66 as being some type of beast. Alright, so here's the understanding. First, let's deal with man. So, man means human, which is like the word Adam means male and female. So, all humans are referred to as carbon-based life forms. In fact, without carbon, biological molecules would not be able to bond, and the body would be a formless heap of loose atoms. Carbon comes from the Latin word carbo, carbo meaning coal or charcoal. It is present in all known physical life forms. Carbon-12 accounts for 98.89% of all carbon. Why do I bring up carbon-12? Because the number 12 is its mass number. And that means it has 6 protons, 6 neutrons, 6 elect electrons. So now you have the number of man. Now let's discuss the beast. Now, the beast is melanin. Melanin comes from the Greek word mellows, meaning black. You know, they're going to make everything black negative. So, you watch any movies, the, the movie about blah, this is really about melanin. Um, melanin is very chaotic, so I, that's why I have the chaos symbol. That, that symbolizes melanin. They're not going to tell you that. But uh, whenever they do anything about uh, chaos, they're really talking about melanin. Or anything, anything in these movies about something black, that they're talking about melanin. Uh, black people have more melanin within them. Than other races, uh, white people, Caucasians really have little to no melanin, and their pineal gland is pretty much calcified. So the pineal gland is what secretes melanin. Um, let me see what I'm talking about. Uh, melanin is the chemical chemical key to life, and it's the nucleus or brain of all cells. It is produced by the pineal gland or third eye, and it's activated by sunlight. So, you know, they, they tell you Caucasians don't want to go out in the sun because of uh, skin cancer. It has nothing to do with you. I uh, just want to show you the book if you really want to read up more on melanin and the difference between the different uh, races. Uh, you can go to a book by Layla Africa called Melanin, What Makes Pe Black People Black. Okay, so now uh, melanin is an organic, I'm stressing the word organic, dark chemical liquid pigment substance. Organic means containing all compounds of carbon. Carbon, once again, 666. So now you know. Melanin is the beast. Man has is, is made up of carbon, and so is melanin. And we also contain uh, melanin. Melanin is responsible for our skin color, the color of our eyes. Um, so we were born into skin, not sin. Remember, these stories in the Bible are allegories, not to be taken literally. We weren't born into skin. I mean, we weren't born into sin. We all we all started off as light beings, or just souls that came down. Earth is actually hell, so we fell into skin, not sin. And that skin is made out of carbon, which is six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. So what makes this melanin a beast? Um, it's a beast because melanin absorbs all colors. It's like a cellular black hole. Like, once color enters, it cannot escape. Melanin is concentrated colors. It's similar to the black hole that's in outer space. So all the black holes, everything in outer space is also made out of melanin. 
chlorophyll is the melanin of a plant. So that green substance uh, is actually the melanin of plants. The human eye can only see colors that are reflected away from an object. So if an object appears black in color, that means that object is absorbing all colors except black. Alright. Just looking through my notes to make sure I get everything. Alright. So I mentioned that it was a 